Eric Tov, covering my name, Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Iran sentences, according to them, uh, Arki, I really wish he wouldn't have noted the article, Mossad spy to death over assassinations of nuclear scientists. It is, and even as RT points out, it is an alleged uh, um, assassination attempts or assassination assist, as Iran is saying that this particular man here, uh, Ahmed Raza, uh, actually is accused of helping Mossad spies to locate certain Iranian scientists uh, so that the Mossad could actually kill them. Now, this is a Swedish-born man. Uh, as the article here goes on to say, an alleged spy for Israeli, Israeli Mossad's intelligence service has been sentenced to death in Iran after he is found guilty of being involved in a string of assassinations of Iran's nuclear scientists, according to prosecutors in Tehran. One of the crimes uh, convicted has been disclosing the address and some of the details uh, of, of, of uh, 30 important figures involved in the country's re research military and nuclear projects, including Iranian nuclear scientists. Uh, so anyway, the this, this very serious part of this is the fact it was a very short trial. The man is accused uh, in, in just, you know, unbelievable circumstances. They claim that he confessed, but of course it's kind of like even in the U.S. there when they get these uh, so-called confessions, you know, how much uh, psychological... Uh, coercion or even uh, torture in this case here uh, this man probably endured before so-called confessions were made uh, and at the same time um, then they only giving 20 days to do an appeal that's just no justice whatsoever and I mean it's just totally it's like a kangaroo court uh, we actually reached out to Javad Zarif uh, who is the foreign minister uh, for Iran and uh, and requested to get a response from him on the case there uh, regarding this uh, alleged uh, spy for the Mossad and this man and his ties for the deaths of the Iranian uh, nuclear scientists there. And especially in light of the fact that Iran has only given this man 20 days, 20 days to be able to appeal his case there. Uh, we have not heard back as the time of airing our, our broadcast here. We have not heard back. Uh, from Foreign Minister Zarif. Uh, so we are hoping to hear back something from him uh, because I do believe, especially in light of the situation that is happening in the Middle East today, Iran, this is an opportunity for them to stand for justice instead of revenge, to show a that they have the ability to hold a higher moral ground, especially for a man that is not being given a fair trial whatsoever. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Erev Tov.